In Smash tournaments, players compete against each other using their own skills. And to spice up tournaments, they have side events. A popular one are random tournaments, where the game gives your character with only 5 minutes of total playtime. To make random less painful to play, my friend hosted an enhanced random tournament. It works by choosing any column from the character select screen, and they will be the ones who play at random. I want to go with column 9 because of... But I can't because I don't play at anyone else. So I chose column 11. They look easy enough to win games with. So with that, the enhanced random tournament began. Round 1 begins, and I'm seated to find my only friend in the tournament, Genus. He chose column 3, arguably the best one. I don't know, that's just me, feel free to disagree. We rolled a dice to see which characters we get and start the game. So it's your first round of a tournament, playing on Super Mario Maker. Okay, the rules were set for legal stages, but let's be real, nobody planned on that in a 12 inch Wi Fi tournament. And we don't even know which character we're getting, so counterpicking stages makes zero sense. Anyway, this enhanced random is so much better than the actual random picker. Knowing that I will always get someone easy to play instead of like the buzz specific character will always make my day. Like, no one should ever be upset over getting Lucina, but there's the fear of your opponent getting an even easier character than you. Yeah, that character is Bowser. Let me tell you something. I am terrified of Bowser. You mess up once against him and the next thing you see is his victory screen. Unless I'm playing hero, then I can do whatever I want to him. But I'm Lucina, so I can only rely on my basic fundamentals, which happen to be non-existent. But seriously, it's so bad you can see the exact moment I start panicking and trying to stay alive. All I need is one good hit followed by an edge yard to win. One fire emblem character down, another to go. I'll be real, I don't know how to Corrin, but I do know about their counter because people exclusively use that in Smash 4. But now it sucks in Ultimate. Anyway, I did the most YOLO upbeat and somehow won. In the final game of this round, the random number generator gave me 7, so I got to play the real random. Besides having easy characters, I chose this comment because it has random, so theoretically I could get Hero. No, the game gave me someone I've never touched instead. Honestly, the amount of playtime I have Bowser Jr. wasn't changing anything because I'm fighting Richter. And I have zero patience fighting a zoner online. But I just can't play this character in general. Like, how does one do this? Yeah. Due to my immaculate DI, I'm in the loser's bracket now. We face this isn't too weird to play, but since I'm used to playing hero, I started to do hero themes while playing other characters. For example, Upbeat. That move is great on hero, but it doesn't transfer over to Wii Fit quite as well. Overall, I didn't really struggle with a weave hit because I felt like I was a better player in general. And Dr. Mario's recovery just kinda sucks, so... Yeah. Next game, I knew I won already because I'm not the one playing Duck Hunt. Terry, on the other hand, is way easier, debatably the easiest FGC character. Yes, I know, Kazuo exists, but we're Smash players, we can't perform special inputs. No, but for real, Sakurai had to demonstrate how to play real fighting games for us, because he knows we're incapable of making a quarter circle with a control stick. But with Terry, special inputs aren't necessary to win at a lower level. I can't even perform the most basic combos with him. But the nationality of Duck Hunt's dog is American, so it's not even needed. Hey. On to the next round, and the game gives me Piranha Plant. My plan was cooking, which was surprising, because I hardly play them. But my opponent is Rosa, and I know they don't know what they're doing. Honestly, you should have been taking notes while watching the buzz. Huge skill is showing their parts. Something I learned is that your play style with your main automatically carries over to any other character you play. Like this combo is actually just my signature hero combo. How can they get there so consistently? It works by watching others play a character too. Observing Nest and PK5 just carries over from one player to another. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. You have to understand. Sometimes you just have to play dirty to win. So anyway. Understandable. Spamming PK Fire won me the last round, and I'm ready to do it again. I really don't have any dignity about playing Ness, and I'm not ashamed of it. Like, how else do I win without wanting to put in effort? But according to Thane Japan Enjoyers, Ness down smashing that ledge is actually a big brain play.
Alright, next game. I truly deserve this. In order to make the greatest comebacks, you must be willing to think outside the box. Buster Wolf and Power Guys are off the table because I can't do those special inputs. So I'm limited to basic moves, something like an aerial. And I'm happy to announce, Terry's back here stage spikes. I popped off so hard for this, not for making the game even, but for the message it sent. Anyway, Power Wave off stage kills. Next up was Loser Semi-Final, and I get the character that says pure fundamentals. I think this match community can agree that Lucina is THE Fundies character. No gimmicks, cheese, or hard combos, just raw fundies. So I had a lot of pressure to prove I had that by winning this game. And it's not going well. As expected. Okay, but this is just a skill issue. Like a major one. Because how do you press the A button at the worst time possible? Also, I don't know what it was, but in this game, we had the most awful counters. PSA to new Smash players, don't use counters defensively, unless you're asking for it. Also, if you somehow never realized, I have an extremely toxic control playstyle. I've been playing Smash since elementary school, so naturally, I've gotten a bit bored of always playing the game normally. So I'm always trying to come up with new ways to entertain myself. Therefore, I sometimes just want to mess around with my opponent. Because are you truly having fun if you're not being toxic? Yeah. Raw Fundies. So, I forgot to save the replay for game 2 because I lost, so here we are at game 3. My opponent was lucky and got their main, so I'm scared. But I'm scared of DK in general. If only the game gave me hero to fight DK, things would be different right now. But DK is DK, so you just have to edge guard him. But DK is also DK, so get ready to match out of grab for 70% of the game. I know I said you shouldn't use counters as much, but if you aggressively counter someone's recovery, you just win. Words cannot describe how much I hate dying to this move. But I do have a lead, so I'm not too worried. But if I mess up once, I feel like I'm going to lose. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell. In my entire Smash crew, I've never felt more terrified than right now. I'm forcing myself to do every panic option so I won't get cheesed by DK. Because if I'm being honest, DK is way more cheesy than Hero. My fundies are being put to the test because I should not be struggling to be the super heavy with Lucina of all characters right now. In no universe did I deserve that. Losing in the very first round of the tournament definitely hurt, but I kept it going. I fought hard going through the loser's bracket while giving them my all. And now we're here. The final round of the loser's side of the bracket, loser's final. Not much happening in this game besides... And the fact that... Same thing in game 2. You don't need to know much besides the fact that you miss every single attack humanly possible. Okay, it's not that easy online. In game 3, I'm already at a disadvantage because my opponent is Incineroar. And I hate this character for one thing only. Mashing. I swear, Incineroar players smash side B like it's the only move in their kit. Even if they fail to land a move, they just do it again. Easy. And as a show though, I can't compete with this. Getting mashed on by Incineroar is just not it. But then, something snapped. It felt like someone took over my gameplay. Someone who knows the basics of neutral. Someone capable of making a quarter circle with a control stick. Someone who's able to play the fighting game characters. I have no clue how, but Riddles' spirit just took over me. Because my all-time best series gameplay was executed flawlessly. The Wi-Fi spot dodge, the tech chase, and the charge to rise and tackle. We did what was thought to be impossible and defeated Wi-Fi and Santa Roar. One Wi-Fi character is slain, but an even greater one arrives. Yeah, remember how I said that Corrin's counter sucks in Ultimate? I lied, it's good. It just depends on who you're playing against. By skillfully spamming Corrin's win button, I deservedly move on to the final round of this tournament, Grand Finals. On the winner side of Grands was my opponent. Dropping a total of one game in an entire tournament, and they were the only person to take multiple games off of me. It was the same person who sent me to the loser side of the bracket, Genus. Genus was having his run of a lifetime, 
win with every character from his column proving that he isn't here. When he found out the first place price was $15, you know he went straight to the training room to earn that. And he was serious, he knew exactly what he was doing with these characters. It was just surprising to me because the only character I know he can play well is Hero. But anyway, from being my very first opponent to the very last, Grand Finals of the Enhanced Random Tournament began. So what's your average Grand Finals of a tournament? Playing on WarioWare. No, we're not delusional or think it should be legal. This was a top tier casual stage, and we're here for a good time. So we're just trolling and trying to style on each other. If I'm being honest, it looked like Elite Smash. Because how do you expect two good friends to play 100% serious in a 12 inch Wi Fi tournament? It's just never gonna happen. But then Genus gets Steve, his second best character, and he was cooking with him throughout his run. But the thing is, Genus never goes easy against me with Steve because he knows I hate that character. It's safe to say my Wi Fi nest was never good to begin with. At this point, I'm hoping to get an easy Fire Emblem character to have a good shot winning the next game. But then, Genus gets Steve. Again. If only I've gotten Hero.